The reason why we do call a press conference today, very shortly I will categorically state it. Why seeking resignation of present Chief Minister Sri Pema Kandu through Honorable Governor of Arunachal Pradesh and imploring to invoke Article 371 Clause H sub Clause A, B is not applicable. For intervention to protect the greater interest of innocent indigenous people of the state. That is the basic connotation of our representation. So, instead of uh, Excellency, 2014 one of it is uh, honorable is used. Word Excellency is omitted legally. Therefore, we use the honorable governor. By virtue of pending 3 PIL, public interest litigation, number one is, I think you, uh, we have provided the paper also, uh, PIL number PP2, original uh, PIL number PP2, uh, 2010, and many SLP has been filed by uh, many persons when one is abundant and one take it on all. And another rate petition is a criminal rate petition. 53 object 2017 by one Sri Papa Yongam and others uh, versus this one uh, PN Tangwan and others. On 13th April 2007 the matter is listed same has been noticed, uh, given the uh, issued a notice by the Honorable Supreme Court to center government and the state government. As well. But neither the center nor the state has any state to pass with this matter. The second PL is that is illegal appointment. Categorically, we have stated in AMDO and this and that. It is in the representation. That is PL number so and so. Against the President's Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh. But one of the PL is very serious in charge. Very serious in charge. That is uh, filed by one. Originally, a petition was filed by in the High Court, one Bhutto Yute of Michuka and one Mwa Borang Lama of uh, that two persons. Uh, same has been abandoned by above mentioned two persons. And second, one Sri Rahul Agarwal filed SLP number 31233 of Blake 2010, arising out of impion final judgment another order dated 12 May 2010 versus State of Pradesh and others. Again with SLP. SLP means especially petitions. Clause C number 34696 of Blake 2010 filed by one Sri Jodik Tariyo. Uh, Lerumova of West Siang district resident of that. And which is alleged seriously about 68 crores of money which nephews of uh, late uh, former Chief Minister Doji Kandu allowed his nephew, Jambay Taji Pajins, I think, MLA of Lum, Lum, Lumla, Lumla, I think, uh, and uh, giving him his uh, contact carriage and uh, all his kit and kin involve this uh, heinous crime that conducted that in 2010. The present chief minister, Sri Pema Kandu, has sought in favor of his father's nephew and abandoned carriage contractor and agree, uh, agreed agreement has prepared 24,800 metric tons 
food grains from FCI depot in the same of a uh, name of MS RD carries tabang which is the name of this one perpetual name is uh, this one Peter Jambetasi belong to his father's nephew Jambetasi without following any causal formalities these food grains were meant for blood victim victimized people of Arunachal Pradesh Kandu received the same quantities of the rice and the special component of SGRY to die die the flood affected the district of the same beat number that is already uh, given to you and the letter uh, the representation dated January 2004 which is respondent number three is Mr. President Chief Minister Pema Kanduji Again, criminal original uh, writ petitions under Article 32 of the Constitution of India, writ petition criminal number uh, 165 of uh, uh, 2021, filed by Arunachal Justice Forum, and others versus the state of Arunachal Pradesh, and others which is to be listed very soon. Then, in this petition also, Mr. Chief Minister is also a major accused person. This is the belief in the attitude and the behavior, mentality of the people in the state. Many people may think the matter is subsidized before the Honorable Supreme Court. Let the court to take its own course of action against the President Chief Minister. Unless he is convicted, he is innocent. That is jurisprudence speak about. That is a theory of law. Answer is no. This answer is no. Why? However, in this case, the present Chief Minister, Sri Pema Kandu, who is holding the highest political force, cannot be treated as any ordinary people of the state. That is the matter difference with connotation, particular connotation difference between ordinary people and who is person holding the constitutional force or highest political force to govern the state. Even in case of any ordinary person whose case is pending before any court, the very answer is yes. Until unless court gives the verdict, he is innocent. Law must its take its own course. That is that is a theory. That is that is the conversation and prim principle of the court. Everyone is innocent until unless he is convicted. As for the premoc and the spirit of the Indian democracy in the political system, does not permit the morally to tainted or corrupted authority to be continuous. This is the culture and premoc the Indian political system of the country. The rule of law must prevail upon to every citizen of the country. By virtue of that very reason, we strongly suggest through Honorable Governor Arunachal Pradesh to intervene in this instant case. Why a person is uh, having the highest political post and constitutional post lies pending in three PL cases in the Supreme Court? This is a matter of uh, doubtful, creates among ourselves, our mental, our behavior. If it is continuous, naturally we will think that. Our organization, Arunachal Justice Forum, is unlike other organizations or union. So we demand the resignation of President Chief Minister through Honorable Governor of Arunachal Pradesh by seeking or invoking the Article 371, Clause H, sub Clause A of the Constitution of India, where Honorable Governor has the power, personal judgment, a law and order, financial irregularity, and so on. Therefore, our nature of demand is constitutionally, legally true. On basis of that, you have filed a special leave petition. Yes. And by claiming that these guys, these guys are not original applicant, applicant, but uh, they have been considered by the court. 
and on basis of the you have argued and you filed a special uh, petition. Yes. So my question is, how did it? How does it relate with the current CMs? You are demanding his resignation. He is respondent number three. Respondent in the number three. Ah, in the petition. Has that has has that in? Uh, do you have any incriminating evidence on the basis of this case? If necessary, we can provide. Do you have? This is not visible because. Uh, no, we have everything. I am seeing. You, you don't need to. We have everything. We, I have gone through your. I have gone through. No, no. You mean the evidence? You submitted to Supreme Court. You mean the evidence you are talking about? So beneficial so, so, is this. So, so why he is? Uh, my question is: Are you receiving in Supreme Court? Even? You have mentioned that page number forty-four to page number fifty-nine on hydro power saying that one thirty, one thirty three MOA, uh, secret MOA had been signed. But none of the these MOAs has a date back with the uh, 2016 onward. Then how how did uh, you how do you are blaming? I I have said I have said yes. You are absolutely correct. He was not a chief minister. He has nothing to do. So so what what what, what is not for demanding resignation? That is your concept. The what is my mean to say that being the son of first son of the let Pema Kandu, okay. okay. he has. Capable to insinuate, subtly manipulate his father to cause to cause the corruption, multi corruptions. Do you have evidence? There is evidence. He is the least in, in the list. No, he is the respondent. You, you are legal advisor. You are yes. you are talking about assumption. You are not assumption. Not assumption. Can can, can we can we mislead the honourable Supreme Court? No. Can we? We cannot do. Where is evidence? When PL is pending there. I don't say that Pema Kandu has absolutely done it. Okay. Let the court to go on. That earlier statement, I have cleared it. That is there. But in morally and politically, while holding the highest pol uh, political post, while holding it, he is moral authority to resign. Okay. So okay. that he he clarified it and get it clean back to the same post again. As you said, the law cannot based on the presumption, okay? Mm -hmm. It needs evidence. We have a strong prima facie evidence. Where is evidence? We are asking you. If you have the evidence, why don't you provide us? And on the basis of you, why should we write? You see, you have evidence. You, it's you, for us also. Public will be a child. Public will be a child. You don't have to say that. I'm just case filing. You mean that we are misleading the press? We are misleading the people of this state without any evidence? Do you mean to say that? No, answer is no. Definitely, answer is no. We have a strong prima facie evidence, and the three cases is likely to be enclosed in one case. And it is matter is with listed. It but is a very serious case. Hmm? But that evidence have been updated. We are only responsible accountability to provide the evidence to honourable Supreme Court, not to anybody else. You 